Hello everybody and welcome back to our Blythe Spartans FM 22 series. Episode 2 here and we are going to kick off the league today. Home against Alfreton. Hopefully we get off to a great start, pick up some wins, and get us moving in the right direction for the season. We're going to start off and look at the transfers that we have done and it hasn't been that many. Uh, a lot of this, I don't know why some of these players are listed here. Some of them I did bring in on trial, but they shouldn't be showing up here for, for trials. And some of these happened before I took over as well. So the only three players that we have actually signed are these bottom three ones, starting off with Tyler Brownsword. He's actually really the only signing that is going to really feature on our team. The other two are youth players. But Tyler Brownsword is a 21-year-old center back, and he's going to get plenty of game time this season. Looks to be a very, very solid player at this level. Went through the Morecambe Academy, was released. He did make one senior at league appearance for them, but I am excited to have Tyler joining the team. I do have some players that I have shortlisted that I would like to sign, but we have to wait till the finances are right. A couple of them are just wanting too much money. Hopefully we can uh, wait it out for a couple weeks, offer them another contract. But here's a look at how we got on during preseason. You can see it was a pretty successful preseason, winning all our games except two of them, which we drew. So I am liking what I'm seeing so far. Hopefully we're able to take these performances and two our games here today against Alfreton and Kidderminster. Looking at the season preview, the media prediction is they think we are going to come in 20th. And that's not all too surprising considering we haven't really got any new additions to the club other than Tyler Brown's sword. And as I mentioned in the first episode, we, we have a pretty good starting team but we are lacking in a couple positions and our depth is pretty lacking as well. One other thing to go over, my attributes look like this, completely different than uh, what we did with our IAC series. We had Sunday League playing experience and we had no coaching licenses. I was able to ask the board if I could take a coaching course and they did agree to it. So we're studying for our national C license at the moment. So in four months time, we should have our first coaching badge. I put all our starting attributes into working with youngsters because in previous FMs, that never got increased. Whatever you started out with is what you were stuck with. So I put everything into that category. Now, moving over to our team, we're going to take a closer look at our players here. And we're going to start with our starting lineup. In at goal, we have Alex Mitchell, 30 years old. He is experienced, even though he only has 195 appearances. And his attributes are not bad at all. They look pretty decent for this level. Moving over to our left back, we have a little 31-year-old Irishman. He is currently on his second spell with Blythe, making 84 appearances during his first spell. Very well-rounded. He has solid defending skills other than heading is a little bit low. Heading at 6 and jumping reach at 5. First center back is Toby Elise, 24 years old. Again, solid. He is very determined which I love to have that attribute, a very key attribute for development. He's definitely very good for this level. You can see his, his rating ability, current star is at 3.5 and, and the potential is at 5. His starting center back buddy is Nathan Buttle. He has spent two previous spells here at Blythe, making over 200 appearances for the club. His mentals look even better than Toby's. So I'm liking our center back options. And we also have Toby Brownsword, who I already mentioned. 
And we already went over very similar, all three of them, in terms of their ability. So I'm confident at starting any of them. Moving over to our right back, we have Carl Byrne, another Irishman. So both of our fullbacks are Irish. Carl has, again, very well-rounded attributes. Looks more than capable at this level. And again, he did well in preseason. Looking for him to bring that into the season. Moving up to our midfield, we have a well-traveled 33-year-old Nicky Deverdix. He's made over 400 senior league appearances in his career. So we have an experienced head in midfield. He's going to be playing in that deep-lying playmaker role. And his attributes are looking very good. And I'm excited to see what Nicky can do for us this year. Playing alongside of him in midfield, we have Sean Reed. 29 years old, another experienced player. And also another player who was back for a second spell at the club. So yeah, between our two... Deeper midfielders, I'm liking the way our engine room is looking. Then our attacking midfielder is JJ O'Donnell, 29 years old. Mental attributes are looking very, very good. And he has some good technical abilities in just the right spots. JJ did very good in preseason. He notched four goals and got an assist. So I'm very much looking forward to him. And he can play in a number of positions as well. Which of course is very key down at this level. Moving over to our left-sided inside four. We have Robbie Dale. Our 37-year-old legendary winger here at the club. Who's already made 585 appearances at the club. Don't really need to go any more in depth than that. He's already proven... He can get the job done, and I'm looking forward to a good season from a Robbie. On the opposite side, we have Connor Thompson, 25 years old. Probably our weakest position that I haven't been able to find a player to come in for that role yet. But Connor gets the start, and he's not bad. He's definitely more of a traditional winger, which isn't what we play in our, our tactic. But he did... He did all right in preseason. Five goals, four assists. So we'll have to see how he gets on in the league with tougher competition. And then that leaves our striker, Dan McGuire. Another player back for his second spell at the club. Very, very good player. Physicals are a little bit weak in a, a couple of spots. But he knows how to score. And that is all we can hope for. During preseason, we didn't have a lot of goals coming from our strikers, but we were getting the wins, so I'm not sure if it's because I'm having them play as a pressing forward instead of an advanced forward or a complete forward, which I typically do for this formation. So as long as we continue to win, I'm going to leave it as is. But if they aren't scoring and we aren't winning, we'll have to look and, and see what kind of tweaks we can do for that. Moving to the bench, we have Lewis McNeil. He is a striker. He can also play on the wing. He could be that inside forward on that right-hand side. He can drop a little deeper into the attacking mid-roll. Uh, a little bit weaker than our, our starting lineup. But he's only 22 years old. Has a lot of potential. And hopefully we can see him progress and get a little bit better than another attacking player we have 19 year old Corey McEwen young player with a lot of potential he can also do a job when he comes into the lineup as well especially if we put him out on the left hand side looks very good for an inside forward then we have our midfield Jordan Hickney he'll get a lot of game time coming off the bench and even getting some starting games as well I'll have no problem throwing Jordan in at any time. Back up right back we have Reese Evans, 24 years old. Has been at the club for a couple of seasons now. He's a, a bit unlucky not to be in the starting lineup. But Carl Bryan just edges him out. 
Another player that is going to get some game time this season is another midfielder, Cameron Painter. Mental attributes are, are very solid, but technical ability is just a little less than Jordan Hickney. So that sees Cameron missing out on the match day squad, at least for today. But I am pretty sure he's going to get plenty of game time throughout the season. Then we have Jordan Watson, who can play left back and more naturally at center back. I think most of his game time will come from left back this season. And when we have to do some rotation, another solid player. Got no concerns throwing him in. Uh, I also didn't go over Jamie Clark. Um, I'm not sure how much game time he is going to get, but we are able to throw him in at a number of positions. I just think he is down the pecking order, so I'm just not sure how much game time he will actually be able to get. And then that leaves the final player, Alex Curran, the backup goalkeeper, 32 years old. Not, not a bad goalkeeper at all, so if there were any injuries... Alex will be able to step up nicely for us. And we do have one player who has been, he's been injured since I took over. This was a pre-existing injury, damaged knee ligaments. He's going to be out for a majority of the season, but we'll see how he recovers and if he is able to get going here in the second half of the season. His contract expires at the end of the year. He's 31 years old, has a significant injury, so you just don't know how things are going to go. But yeah, there we go. That is our our team. That is our full squad. We do have those two youth players, which let's be honest, we're probably not going to see them. But since our U18s play in a league, I wanted to have at least a couple players filling out the team before we get our youth intake in the second half. But yeah. I think I have waffled on enough now. Let's go ahead and jump into this game. I'm looking at the recording time, and uh, I'm thinking we might only have time for this this one game, but it's going to be home at Croft Park taking on Alfreton. Uh, we got our first highlight here, and we are on the ball. Working it down this right-hand side, but no, we turn it over. Alfreton looking to bring it forward. They slow it down a bit. That's a great ball over the top to Sese. Oh, wow. He missed that. How did he miss that? A big let off here for the Spartans, but we are under attack once again. And Butterfield off the free kick. Heads it home. Six minutes gone, and we are a goal down. Good delivery in. Number five. Who is that? Buttle misses his opportunity to head that clear. And Butterfield heads it into the corner. 1-0. Not the best start. Can we uh, work anything out of this? No, we turn it over again. Looking very sloppy here. Toby Lees is going to go back and, and claim this ball. Bringing it out of defense. He's looking for options. He plays it over the top. He was looking for Thompson on the right-hand side. They are on different pages. Thankfully, we do win the ball back here. Still looking for our first real attacking opportunity. And that's a great ball up to Dan McGuire. Oh, he shoots it wide. That was a great ball in. I believe it was O'Donnell. Dan McGuire really has to get that on target. Got another highlight here. Alfred 10 turn it over off that goalkeeper clearance. We've already had one good opportunity. We weren't able to capitalize on it. Thompson on the right-hand side plays it back to his right back, Brian. Back to Thompson, back to Brian, who crosses it in for Robbie Dale. Robbie does get his head onto it, but it lacked any real power. Keeper easily claims that. There it is. The halftime whistle is blown. We go in here. A goal down. Started a bit slow, but throughout, throughout that first half, we started to get more into the game. We are starting to create opportunities. Just got to go out there and, and get it done. Come on, boys. 
We can do it. Got our first highlight of the second half. Brian on the right-hand side looking to get his cross and it gets blocked out, but it is back up to our, our players and Connor Thompson thunders it off the crossbar. It was a real clean strike. It just hits the crossbar, though. We're going to make our first substitution. We are going to bring on Corey McGowan for Robbie Dale. What else can we do? I'm a bit concerned that Brian is on a yellow card. So I'm just I'm not going to risk getting a yellow. So we're gonna bring on Evans in his place. Other than that yellow, Brian has been very, very good. He's been our best player. A 7.4. Let's see what Reese Evans can do. We'll have one more sub, and we're gonna hold on to that for a few more moments. Okay, time for our, our final sub here. What we are going to do is we're going to bring on Lewis McNow for Thompson. And we'll go back to uh, inside forward there. Got 20 minutes to find the equalizer here. We have a highlight here. Oh, I think that was McCohen. But he fires that one high and wide. Dang. There is the full-time whistle. It ends 1-0 for Alfreton. They got that goal in the seventh minute from that free kick header by Butterfield. We were definitely the better team in terms of the chances we created. We controlled the game, but they got that early goal, and that is all that they needed. It ends 1-0. We start off the season with a defeat. Well, after that opening game and that opening day defeat, here is how the league table is looking. Pretty funny that uh, everybody who won, won by one goal, which means everyone that lost, lost by one goal. And then everyone else got a draw. So the league table is super compact at the moment. I find that pretty funny that nobody won or lost by more than a goal. But yeah, looking at the recording time, because we went over the team in more depth and went through our whole squad, we're just going to do that one game here today. Next episode, we'll go back to the traditional two games per episode. So that is where we're going to leave it off today. Looking at our schedule, uh, I'm looking at this FA Cup qualifying game here, something that we'll target for our next episode. We'll have to see if we want to do the Darlington game or the Chester game. But that seems like a, a great opportunity to bring you back for the next episode. But if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a like down below. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. It would be greatly appreciated. And then that way you won't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. And until next time, it's been your Boyd 147.